good day to you, partner. I'm Dean, and I can already tell that I'll be your best friend in this forsaken Hey guys, Wheat Solo here, aka the Skeleton King. So we are continuing our deep dive into Physical Summoner, who by the way just received the highest rating by DH because he knows absolutely nothing, but I'm so happy he still overrates Physical Summoner without even knowing how to play any Summoner at all, but that's cool. Anyways, you're going to get the straight facts from me. By the way, yes, I am getting Ujwars again. There were some ideas from other people, whether you want to call it feedback ideas or criticism, um, saying that Ujwars are not the right choice. One of their complaints was is that I don't need to be more safe and their stun is unimportant. That is kind of true, but we're going to get to that when I kill the boss. So Ujwars do have a stun ability. Uh, they are big and bulky. But so are Hell Lords and so are Thrashers. And by the way, those are the three, like, clearly best physical revives. Um, someone said Marauders. Sorry, that's a pretty bad idea. I think Marauders are actually pretty good, but pretty good is not even close to the top three. I mean, it really, really isn't. But again, they are pretty good. Uh, I did try Thrashers. Uh, they weren't as good as I thought they were going to be. Um, again, too slow, too bulky, maybe even more bulky than Blunders or Hell Lords. Um, their CC was nice, and again, CC is important. We're going to get back to that, I promise. But the damage was just a little too low. I think on a, a build with a little more elemental spread, it could work. Or for some group play, it's always a solid idea, as they attack the fastest out of any summon in the game. So, uh, Hell Lords. I tried those as well. Um, there's not going to be a video with them, unless I want to do a T1 or a T2. Um, because I tried basically Hell Lords, mainly because someone said, what about Vile Lancers? And I was like, oh, Vile Lancers are actually really, really good. In fact, they're quite underrated. They were overrated for a bit because someone didn't realize their jab ability is not used half the time. If they did use jab half the time, they'd have some of the highest DPS in the game. Unfortunately, their chance to use jab is much closer to like 20% or 30% than it is to 50%, which means they're pretty average. Although, again, average is like maybe top four, top five physical DPS summon, their issue at this point is mainly the fact they're just way too squishy. And by squishy, I mean they really are squishy, okay? They die noticeably even just in regular mapping situations. But when I tried my mix of Hell Lords and Vile Lancers, um, what's so convenient about that is, is they spawn both at the Ancient's Way waypoint. And getting Hell Lords is kind of frustrating, getting Lancers is frustrating, but when I basically got a mix of both, it, it didn't go too bad. So for anybody interested, I think that's a quality option. And yes, you can just go full Hell Lord if you want, or full Vile Lancer. Um, and if I do run a T1 or a T2, I, or if anybody out there wants to focus on T1 or T2s, once your gear is good enough, you're not going to need the crushing blow from the Uduars. Minions are going to die so quick anyways, it's not going to matter. Now, by the way, this is a fortified map, and I did try this non-fortified with Uduars, and I was pretty dissatisfied. But with fortified, I get the benefit from their crushing blow again. And again, I'm not using Uduars for their safety, I'm using it for the crushing blow. That is the reason I am using these guys, and crushing blow is... Basically OP in Diablo 2, okay? It's been OP forever, and that's why it's gotten nerfs in um, in PD2. But it did get an interesting buff recently. Crushing Blow Splash is now. So yeah, um, I thought with a Crushing Blow Splash it would work in a non-fortified map, but there were just too many little small pieces of shit. And in this fortified map, I felt like there was this nice combination of open space, not too many enemies, and the Uduar's Crushing Blow really coming in clutch whenever I had to get some juicy hits off. Um, so when I did Hell Lords and Vile Lancers, of course it was non-fortified because they're so fast and agile. Um, but again, I actually thought Hell Lords were as clunky as Blunderbores. Now, maybe I should say as clunky, but definitely their speed was a little more noticeable. But I mean, there's one thing I noticed on this map 
and it even happens with blunders. The tree sections really throw off enemy AI, and that includes revives. And basically when the trees get thick, basically every summon I tried out here, even Marauders, would just, like, just freak out and just, like, run into the tree and then stop moving. The only summon that seemed to avoid those situations were Vile Lancers. So, for anyone who's going to be playing a physical summoner build next season, don't forget about the smaller collision box bodies. And if you're wondering what another quality revive is with a small collision box, it's Doom Knights. I'm going to try to come up with a list of some better options for you guys. So, you guys have options on how to revive um, a higher variety of minions, especially when your gear gets good and you want to do T1s or T2s. So back to the T3 and the Fortified map, I was really happy with the speed with this. My clear time is going to be about a slightly over 6 minutes, and for an Ashen Plains, which is actually pretty big, and you kind of got to go to all these nooks and crannies to make sure you kill everything, I was super satisfied with it. I was really not satisfied with my ROB clear time, and to answer the person's point who said I should really try Hellords and uh, Marauders, it is possible for ROB that Hell Lords are better, but like for Fortified, even if they didn't change CB to have Splash, that opening burst of damage is just too good. I'm not going to say for sure they're better because Hell Lords do have that Frenzy stack and that will increase their movement speed and I don't want to warp too much. I want them to kind of spread out a little bit. Um, so it is possible on a more narrow map you want to go with, excuse me, the Moon Lord. So, we're at the boss. Did you notice something? He was fucking me up and fucking my summons up. Nothing died though. And then my Uduwar started to stun lock him. That is where everything went wrong with the Hell Lord and Vile Lancer play. Um, basically, I believe I had two archers left and every Vile Lancer died by the time the fight was over. That is because Hell Lords do not have a stun and they he just went off and just killed everything. If you went full Hell Lords, would they have survived? I think probably, as in the Hell Lords, not the Archers. I think most of the Archers still would have died. Now, if all of your revives survive and you kill a boss, um, is it like gonna be the end of the world if you just resummon your Archers and finish the map? No. I think in a clear video I made a couple of seasons ago, or maybe even last season, I ended up having to summon a few Archers after um, the T3 boss, the Mad Philosopher, who used to just obliterate um, skellies. Like, even warriors sometimes would die to that piece of shit. That guy was gnarly. So, for T3s, I'm just gonna say it. I don't think you're gonna do better than Uduars. I think there is a world where Thrashers can succeed very well. Um, even with just any amount of enchant. Again, I know enchant's been nerfed so much, especially the enchant aura from, like, Merc Gloves is super low. But my Merc Gloves aren't providing them too much right now. So if I put on a source of enchant and they get their fast attack speed, for Thrashers, it would make a difference. So if you want to run Thrashers, you still want that CC. Sure, you lose the crushing blow, uh, but it's just another way to kind of change up the game. Again, Hell Lords are good. I think they're... Vile Lancers really might be the best summon for T1s. Again, I might try that out. We'll see if I have time to get to that. But for any fortified map, like, I think at least any fortified T3 map, I don't think you're going to do better than Uduars. Especially because of the fact that you will need some CC for your archers, not for yourself. Now, what about the Crushing Blow? If Crushing Blow is so good and now it splashes, what does that mean about the only revive that has Crushing Blow? I don't know. I'm a little nervous about it. Do I think, like, necessarily it needs a nerf? Um, I think it's possible Crushing Blow's gonna need a nerf in general to everything if it just splashes now. I think that change came way out of the blue and I just don't understand what it means. Uh, by the way, this is what I'm going to consider my run through. As you saw, I did miss a little pack right there, but I was actually pretty impressed, impressed, impressed with the uh, kill percentage. Um, is this a good enough kill percentage? I would say I'm well over 90%. Okay, I'm just going to say it. And I think I'm way closer to 95% than anything else. And in my day, I've always said 95 plus is good enough. You know why? Because for me, it's about efficiency. And killing every fucking minion in the map is definitely not going to be the most efficient option. Now, well, maybe I would have liked to clear a little bit more. But you know what? If you're actually playing this build, but also playing fast, 
the random amount of times you're gonna actually pick up gear is gonna help. I think as I've played this build more and more, one of the secrets is going slow enough so your minions attack, but going fast enough so you keep pulling more enemies. Well, anyways, Skelly King out, guys. GG. Strategy.